All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're playing some Renekton in the mid lane, and we are running Press the Attack, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Second Wind, and Unflinching. I'm going to go Lethality Renekton. So we are going to go full offense with a little bit of healing from our Q with the all the AD we're going to have. So the build path is going to be a, a Prowler's Claw into a Ghost Blade for more mobility, catching people. And then third item is can be a either a grudge or let me see. it'll probably be a grudge or a blade of the ruined king actually blade is really nice for the w and we're against rise which shouldn't be too bad for us we'll have some tenacity we can also go uh, tenacity boots since their team actually is very ap heavy Otherwise, you could go armor boots, and this is a really good pick into, like, the Int Brothers mid lane. If you're against a Yasuo or Yone, you shred their shields with the W. But it's a Q max into an E max, and then last is W. It has really good base damage. It doesn't really need to be maxed on its own. Okay, I'm just going to get E second since we're against range champ. Otherwise, you could go W and then all in level 2. Could probably win a trade right now. There we go. That was a really good trade, and I didn't take any damage. Yeah, Renekton is insanely strong early. And when we go Lethality, we just snowball even more. And then our ult makes us somewhat tanky. But if we go Blade of the Ruined King, our late game really won't be that bad. We're never going to be able to catch Singe, but nobody can. We can just keep queuing to heal. I actually want to let this Rise push me into tower, because if I push him in, I'm never going to be able to go in and fight him. So I'm only going to use my auto attacks. Unless he gets too close. Then I gotta hit him with a Q. But uh, that Q healed me like 10-20% of my health, I feel. That's pretty low. I'm gonna go try and clean up here. Maybe I can wait for Kindred to go for this crab. And then I can also use this crab to dash through to get the second dash. Like Amumu's joining me. They they might be aware, because I mean they did see me leave lane. Let's take it. Yeah, Kindred took a little bit too long, so that means she knew she stole it too. So maybe we were on a ward. Oh gosh. Alright, the wave is finally pushing towards me. Rise is going to base. I mean, he needs to base. He has no mana. There's no reason for him to stay here because he can't even clear it anyway. So we freeze this. Even if he teleports back, he's not going to have... Uh, many items. We could still beat him with our first buy. I'm gonna deny him this cannon though by standing in between it. He loses his cannon. But he's just digging himself into a deeper hole here because this wave is still going into me and I can just freeze it if I want. He doesn't have the mana to clear it. He needs Kindred. Once I hit level 5, I think I'm gonna go in on him and try and just all in. There we go. Good trade. I can hold these minions here. And he's got a TP back to his tower. And he's going to lose another wave. Try and get some Qs off to heal a little bit. If he doesn't TP back, he loses all this, which... Okay, he did TP... Wow, look at that damage. One more auto gets him. There we go. And nice. We won that just off wave manipulation, freezing, forcing his TP, knowing our limits. Pretty solid. Not just an all-in cheese right in the beginning. But that's why overstaying, it's, it's just sometimes good to just say, 
Screw the wave. I got a base. I got to go reset. So we're going to start building that prowlers. And then that's going to help me stick on him so much better. Let's do boots. I could get another sword. You know what? I thought I would need to heal more, but the second wind plus my Q was actually helping me so much in those trades. I haven't played Renekton in so long. I think my last Renekton video was a year ago. And I haven't played him since, but they haven't really changed him. He's been the same ever since he came out. So now, Rise has no flash. I'm going to ping that to my jungler. So now these Amumu ganks are going to work. I just don't have my dash. He's going to maybe get phase rush and get out. Nope, he is not. Yeah, Q Max for sure is always best. It does so much damage. You'd lose so much by uh, not maxing it. Because it just has too many things. It's got the heal, got the wave clear. We can deny Kindred this mark. I'm going to go chill at her red. Actually, she might try and steal this. So I'm going to wait here. Looks like she's going the other way because she took so long. If her red's up, she is dead. Wow. She's only level 4. And we completely sliced her in half. Oh, no. Well, he might make it out. I got to go back mid, though. Some minions for me. Renekton mid used to be uh, played a bit. I think it was last season or the season before, but the hype for it kind of died down. But he still feels insanely powerful. Wow. <laughs> oh, I definitely have to pick this guy up again for my counter matchups mid. Like, them queuing up and they pick Yasuo. I'm definitely not going to pick like Zareth into that. I could pick this. It's not even hard to play. I haven't played him in a year. And he probably do pretty well into them. We just got so many kills, Lux. Let's go buy that Prowlers. I feel like I could just one-shot anybody at this point. Oh my gosh, what is this? What the... What the heck? What did he even think was going to happen? You think he could just fling me and then get out? I mean, I could just tank this guy. I don't even care. Although, when my dash is down, that is when I can die. Because if I can't get close enough to hit them with Q, I won't heal. But I still have my ult. Okay. Nice prowlers. Um, I'm going to wait for some Merc Treads, and while I do that, I'm going to do a little dance. And you are going to go like the video, because I'm still waiting for 30 gold, and it's going to take you less than that time to go hit that like button. And by the time you get back, we should have our Merc Treads, and you missed nothing important except the little dance. Alright, we got the Mercs. We have a Teemo. It's like Singe might go Leandri's burn. He's got a lost chapter. So if I get my Fury Bar to half, I get three hits on the W stun, which instantly procs press the attack. If I Prowlers right before that, oh my. Plus that Blade of the Rune King later is going to apply, what is it? Is it like 12% still or did they nerf it? Let me see. From melee. Yeah, 10% every uh every hit, so that's 30% max health off three hits. I feel like Kindred may be brown, somebody might be mid. But I think I could just fight three of them at once. I'm so big. And if I die, I'm at least taking one of them with me. I can go for Morg, but they both have stopwatches. 
I really want to kill them. Kindred has ult though. Ryze is keeping his distance. If Ryze built armor boots, he'd have an easier time versus me, but I don't think he's going to build those. I'm just going to keep looking in the jungle, because if I find Kindred 1v1, I always win right now. There's nothing she can do to me. That guy's really low. I'm behind Rise. And just like that, one little short combo, and he's dead. Well, my ult doesn't give me any extra AD or anything, it just gives me Fury faster and more health. If I don't need to use it, I don't need to save it for a, a fight. I'm just going to play Bush Renekton. Oh, there's a dead Kindred. I'm flanking. Morgue's worth a shutdown. She goes. If I get an assist on her, or the kill. Slice. Cool. Well, this is a very snowbally game. But all the kills are on me, so once I start dying and falling off, the game could get a lot harder. But I don't think it'll go that way. So I can use that to jump through. One more auto before I queue, just for the extra ETA damage. Can't quite get her. Maybe if I ulted. I really want to kill this guy. Oh my god, if my Q was up. Man, that Prowler's had so much damage to the combo. You know, I could dive him, but I think Kindred's gonna be back here. Oh, okay. Well, we got his ghost. But yeah, if Kindred was around, I could get baited in there. Oh, here she is. Oh, she hit a shroom. Wait, the shroom! <gasps> Revenge! The, uh, the shroom stole the crab. Wait, where's he going? Going to a Moomoo. -moo. Well, Mummy has no mana. Rise is pretty fast. I have to go this way, but he might kill a Mummy. I feel like he's going long. Oh, there he is. Yeah, suicide. I don't think it's been long enough. Plus, Teemo's there, so goodbye, Rise. I get XP. Um, Ghost Blade next. Mobility. Getting kited is definitely going to be our biggest problem, so Ghost Blade will fix that. Where is it? 3,000. There. I was almost close enough to be flung into tower. Let's see how much this Q heals me. 116. That's pretty good because it's reduced on minions. If I hit a champion, it heals me a lot more. I actually don't want to die though, because their bot lane's pretty strong. Good thing I went mercs though, and I have unflinching. But if they're all in this bush, I'm about to get blasted. I didn't even see her jump that way. Well, I'm just gonna wait. Pop the PTA and the Q. Using the blue to get out of there. This guy's actually really fun to play. Shut down. I 
try to get an auto in before I W. I, I did there, but I canceled it. I did the W a little too fast, I guess. Otherwise, I think I would have killed him because PTA didn't pop. But if you auto and then W, it's an auto reset, so you get three hits. I can just stun him and ignite. Might be dead here. Oh, that tenacity got me out of there. I still got hit by it, but I thought that bind was going to be much longer. I can kill her still with this low health. Not if she doesn't get near me, though. Uh, mommy's doing Herald. I'm going to clear this just so Kindred doesn't get Mark. You know, I think Kindred's not going to be very useful for them except her ult. Oh, even the dash does a lot of damage, actually. Uh, let's try and get Dragon while this Herald goes mid. Because I think they're just going to ARAM. It at least hit the tower, which is good. Actually, we can't. Maybe we can. Okay, I don't want to get too close because there is a Singed here. I'm just going to help Teemo kill this guy. I think they're fine. Wow. <laughs> This Q damage. We got the dragon too. I just stun Q and they're just dead. I was gonna do like some crit build where I try to crit the three times with this, but like this is just better. All I have is a Prowler's Claw. I'm sitting on 5,000 gold. Let's do Ghost Blade into the Blade of the Rune King. And then this allows me to fight tanks and bruisers too once I get this item. What's better, the on hit? I don't know. I'm the unkillable croc. I'm very, very fast. Oh no, singed. Oh my gosh. Ghostblade, tap him, yes. <laughs> you almost got one shot from the uh, the four hits. I did a auto reset into the W, so that's four hits on him. Too much damage. <laughs> I'm an actual assassin. Get over here. I actually can't dive him. He's gonna ever frost me under turret, but you know what? It doesn't matter. He's gonna live. But I don't want to die for him. Let's go clear mid. I don't think this build will be that great for diving into like five people, but I think I'm fed enough to be able to do that with my ult. But I guess if you pick them fast enough, you'll have teammates. An enemy has been slain. Nice. The Lux in the morgue. I'll just uh, push bot and I'll fight them. However many they send, I just need to be careful of kindred ults.
Okay, one hourglass down. Can't yeah, move. Oh my god. Whew. Oh shit. Uh, I thought I'd heal more. <laughs> Whatever. Oops. I did not heal off those at all. I just died to to Krugs over the enemy team. Uh, I'll just get the Warhammer. It's not like... Well, they have Hourglass, but they don't really have armor. I'm just so powerful. Like, I don't know what they could possibly do. Because I can, I can eat their CC with all this tenacity. And once I get this, they get slowed. From the Q, from the dash. It's gonna be really nice. Who got the gold for me? Lux, okay. Lux is the support, right? Yeah. Wait, which one is that? Okay, yeah, Lux is the support. Morgana's farming. They just have a double mage bot. All right, it's here. This guy has Leandri, so... It will eat through my health. Don't have uh, prowlers up yet. I think Velkaz has them. Oh, the triple slice into death. I just wanted to hit her with a Q to heal, and I made her panic all. <laughs> I'm so fast with this soul, too. Just gonna wait here. Somebody's gonna hit this plant, though, is the thing. But if I stand right here and they hit it this way, I shouldn't get revealed. And if they walk over here, then they're outside of the base. There's Lux. And two are top. Now she knows Teemo's there. Oh. Wow. Okay. We're gonna ult. Come on. No! Her hourglass, uh... I was waiting to queue for her... T yes! She's dead! Okay, I was waiting for her to come out of hourglass to heal, but I died before and... I almost had her. She lived with, like, one health. Um... They should have this. They win this hard. Oka's got some good damage. That guy's not gonna die, though. Oh, maybe he will. It's just a Mumu needs to land another one now, and he's out of mana. Because he left his W on. And now... We are playing Chase the Singed. It may not end well for a Mumu. Because even if he hits this, he has no mana for another spell. At least he survived. The Singe didn't really do damage. For having a Leandri's, I guess his double MR saved him. But I thought the burn would do so much more. We need Grudge. And then last item. What do I want after Grudge? I could go Axiom Arc to ult more. I could ult twice in a fight, maybe. I could go Sterix and just get some health so I don't get bursted. I'd probably get an MR item, though. They get spirit and heal more. This is supported. Well, now they're going to clump together. So I will die when I go in to kill them. But I do want to just go in. But if I jump into this, I, uh, Kindred ults, I get them all low, but I'm low myself, so then I die. I might just go split in the side lane. I actually don't think I'm going to be that useful in a team fight. Oh, I could do Hall Breaker and split. That would give me so much uh, resistance. I might do that. 
Hullbreaker last would give me tons of armor and MR, as long as I'm alone, which I will be if I'm splitting. And the team is strong enough to fight on their own. Especially if I'm going to bring at least one person in the side lane. But they, they need to bring more than one person. Oh, that's uh, Awkward Hourglass. Amumu saves him, though. Well, I don't kill towers that fast, but they can't leave me alone down here. Like, I don't think they'll be able to do Baron. Yeah, here they come. Morg is still mid, Lux is still mid, that means Kindred came down. Uh, we don't know where Rise and Kindred are, but we see Singe top. Oops, my cannon. Alright, I'm able to hit this. I think. Eh. It's a little risky to try to kill him there. Because I know they didn't go to Baron. I can go buy this. You know what? I could get Force of Nature. Oh my god. I think a Force of Nature would be even better than the healing. Because then I take 25... Oh my gosh. 25 reduced magic damage. Uh, Doran's Blade Goodbye. Negatron Cloak. Hello. Yeah. I just need to survive long enough with my ult. 25% reduced damage is going to be nutty. Plus 70 MR on top of that. And they're 4 AP Kindred. 0-7. Dragon Soul is going to be up in 20. Their team can pressure Baron, try to get a pick mid. What does this soul do? Doesn't it give us move speed on ult? That's really good for me. I'm not getting kited whatsoever this game. And they're holding mid. Teemo can just keep plopping shrooms down. They might get the dragon though, because I'm all the way over here. But if they get the dragon, they're losing a uh, inhib. It looks like they're going to lose both. I'm all eating whoever's down here, and I think it's Rise. Somebody just showed on my ward behind me. Oh my god. I didn't even hit him with a Q. He just disappeared. That was gross. I think I did a thousand damage with the W. My cannon. Okay, I just straight up one shot everybody. Oh, <laughs> even my auto attacks do so much damage. <laughs> There's more. Oh wait, they're all dead. Okay. Nice. I think that's GG. Might not be able to kill these. In time. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my God, I don't heal. Yeah. I thought I lived that time. Man, that healing on the minions is so low, though. I hit, like, 20 minions, and I heal, like, 100 health. At least I got executed. But we didn't even get the force of nature. Yeah, I definitely couldn't have ended there. Maybe if I didn't turn around earlier. Man, I don't even want to buy the force of nature now. I'm, I kind of just want to build another damage item, because I'm literally one-tapping them. Buy anti shield item. Enemy team is uh, persistent on not giving up either, so they must like this. They want to beat the croc. I mean, I'm only 90 gold off the Force of Nature. I'm just going to buy it. I've already committed to the item. But with this item, I'm just going to send it in, in a fight and go into five of them and see what happens. If we lose the fight, I don't think we'll lose the game unless the fight goes really bad. Alright, we got Force. Good shield by more. Not enough to stop that, but Kindred is gonna get a kill. Oh, 
And Teemo got binded under tower. Amumu is very strong though. He's got force of nature too. Alright, here comes a super speed crocodile. Now I'll just pop my alt for the move speed when I go in. Oh, I didn't get my Q up. I should have queued before I W'd. Also, I don't think I needed to flash that deep. That's a lot of tower damage, though. Yeah, we could just Baron. That'll help us a bit, too. My death timer's 40 seconds now. I guess I'll just split top after Baron or somewhere. Once we get another inhibits for sure over. How much has Blade done? 1800 damage. That's a lot because Prowler's only added an extra 1200. Actually, it's, it's like 2100 because I think it... I don't know if that damage dealt is added. I think they're two different things. One's the amp, and one's just the item from the dash, or the uh, damage from the dash. Ward on that. I think we just do it, because then if they try to stop us, they got to leave their base. It's hitting me. Stop that, Baron. Alright, nice. No has got an item to purchase. Dinge is splitting bot. Oh my gosh, he, he doesn't have armor. He just dies so fast. Morg can hourglass in the middle of that. Well, they're pushing mid, so as long as I just wait, somebody's gotta go respond. I had my prowlers. I want her to miss her Q. Wow, I think I killed her with the W. Powerful crocodile. Who's next? Okay. Oh no, tower. Oh, I'm not tanking. Wow. I healed a lot from that Q on champions. All right. Looks like that's gonna be GG finally. This is a really good Renekton game. I wasn't expecting it to go so well. Should we kill Rise again? He's gonna fling me into tower. Oh, he flinged me into safety. Thank you, sir. GG. If you guys enjoyed the crocodile game and you didn't like earlier, you still got a chance. I'll give you that. But also, subscribe to the channel if you're not. Check out all my other channels in the description. I got three that I upload daily on. Swag and Highs, TC Swag, Swag Zareth. Um, join the Discord if you haven't. Discord.gg slash Zwag. And who should I give it to? Everybody did well. What a Teemo. CR damage. We did 46k damage. Here's our rune stats. Press detect did extra 3500, so this is a no brainer to take for sure. Because it always works on your W. Uh, Triumph heal this 1200. Last stand did extra 964. Second wind heal to 1700. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the second channel, Zwag Zareth. I don't know what I'm playing yet, but maybe a mage. I'll give you guys another mid lane game. So, see you there in a few hours. Peace.